What is going on guys, my name is Pete Nambi, whatever you know me by, welcome back to another video. It's been far too long, as always. When, is I, when was the last time I started a video and haven't said it's been far too long? As you guys can see, a lot's been going on. A lot of change has happened since the last time you saw me here on YouTube. So if you haven't seen on my Twitter or anything, or if you haven't been tuning into my streams or anything like that recently, I moved house. Um, that's the biggest change that's gone on. Um, before that, the reason I wasn't uploading was like Modern Warfare dropped, I released like five or six videos and then I just sort of went dark for a bit. My PC died. So um, as you guys may have known, uh, back uh, in like September time, I bought a new PC, bought a brand new PC and went to me and Alyssa, we set it up and um, it, it doesn't, it, it didn't work. Um, there was an issue with it. It took months and months and months to get that sorted. In the meantime, I was using my old PC and then my old PC died and I didn't have my new PC set up either. So I was without a setup and then I got my computer all set up and then I was back on the streams and then I moved house and I just was like, let's just put YouTube on pause for a minute, get everything sorted and then we'll come back and explain everything. Do an updated room tour, an updated setup video and just show you guys everything that's changed and um, get back on the grind properly because I didn't think there was much point in coming back to then go away again. So here we are back full time, well not full time, back to our normal schedule, Wednesday and Saturday uploads ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, you're here for the main event. Let's do this room tour, let's show you around. It's gonna be a great time, let's do it. Here we go ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at this sexy man. Anyway, this is my new room. This is an overall view of it. As you can see, this side of the room is pretty damn girly, but we've done a pretty good job of trying to man it up with some skateboards and such. But this is it. My old room, but all new and improved. And there is the setup. Triple monitor setup. The two on the sides are obviously for my PC, that gorgeous VE desktop background there, and then the one in the middle is for my consoles, so Xbox and PS4, I have them both, I am greedy. A very standard keyboard that just about lights up when I want it to. The gorgeous Stream Deck there that my little brother bought me for my birthday. I'll get a Stream Deck easily. Easily one of the best additions I've made to my setup. I cannot stream without it now. I'm so used to having it there and it's so useful. And if any of you stream, I genuinely recommend that you get this. I've got an itchy eye. Another honestly really important part of my setup is this wonderful chair. I genuinely don't think I'd be here without it and it's getting a bit worn now. I've kind of picked away at the, at the armrests a little bit. I'm, I'm bad for that, but it's so fucking comfortable and I don't think I could ever ever do what I, what I do for such long lengths of time without this chair. Microphone, just a very standard blue snowball. Got a nice little pop filter over the top there. Um, mic arm stand, I think it cost me about 15 pounds from Amazon. Um, honestly, get yourself one if you haven't already. Freeze up your desk for some more space so you can put your put your drinks on and your and your keyboard and your and your really big mouse mat that everyone has that's really useful but kind of looks a bit weird when everyone's got it but oh well I've still got one. Specs of the monitors are all different. Annoyingly I have all different monitors. This one is an Asus one millisecond response time 24 inch. This one is an AOC 21 inch one millisecond response time. Uh, both of those are 60 hertz by the way and then this one is a I think it's actually 50 hertz because it's flickering kind of on the camera because I'm recording at 60 frames per second and it's a very 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 old Old LG something or other monitor that probably has about 10 seconds response time um, but it's okay because I usually just use it for Google Chrome and Discord. Another really 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 good thing about this room is that my parents have put in this amazing little these these cool shelves above the desk here and I've just been able to use it to compartmentize all my things and it looks all neat and tidy I've got my kandamas and my all my Guitar Hero games and then some DVDs and then all my hats because I've got like fucking 50 of the fuckers and then loads of books and a pencil case because you know, sometimes I draw. All my video games, although I don't have many on disc these days, all my camera stuff, usually my camera sits there, but right now it's here. This is some paperwork, that stuff's kind of boring. And then uh, this here is a little station just for my incense. PS4 there, Xbox One just below it, and an Xbox 360 that's next to it and that isn't even plugged in. There's the PC, it glows and looks pretty and does a really good job even though it's huge and makes it so I have barely any leg room. Up there we've got a robot that I've had since I was eight, a cup, um, a box, and a couple of lamps that I genuinely can't fit anywhere that, I mean, it doesn't, it just doesn't belong, you know? But you know what, they, they look cool up there, they can stay. As you guys can tell, the best thing about my entire setup are the Christmas lights. They are, that's exactly what they are. They are just Christmas lights, but it's Christmas all year fucking round in my setup, ladies and gentlemen. It looks gorgeous. It means that I don't have to have the big light on at the top there on the ceiling. And um, it just keeps everything looking all cozy and nice and, and pretty. Um, also, on the, on, the, on the subject of lighting, 
This here was installed by my parents. They had this, they used this room as like a little office before I moved back. And they installed this little light and it's like magnetic. And like, if I pull it off there, it's just, it just magnetizes up there. And it's, it just provides light to the desk and also provides a lot, a really good amount of like lighting for my face, for like face cam and stuff while I'm streaming. It's really, really, really helpful. And you can change like the, the brightness and you can like dim it or make it brighter or you could change the warmth or like coolness of the of the light itself. It's great, it, it's fantastic. Um, my controllers are very, very standard. This is literally just a PS4 controller. Um, the only thing different about it is I've got some thumbsticks on it that I can put on and take off because more grip is fun. This here is just a very, very standard Xbox One controller. The only difference about it is it's got like rubberized parts on the bottom, which make it so my sweaty ass hands don't get all clammy and I keep slipping and dropping off clips. On second thoughts of the PC specs, I really can't remember as much as I should be able to remember about my PC, but if you really want to, if you really want to know, all the information is going to be down in the description so you guys can go and, and see that and you can see what my PC specs are. Just know that it's good and it works well, unlike my last PC, which is currently dead. So that was a really fast and energetic room tour. Now that I'm back, I thought I'd better show you guys around and see what's going on. As you guys saw, that side of the room over there is still looking pretty girly because my parents, lovely they are, um, redecorated when I moved out. So it's lots of flowers and pink and, and birds. And you know what? It's not that bad but I needed to man it up a bit with skateboards on the wall and things just to sort of deal with my insecurities. Honestly, I'm so, so happy to be back. Being able to see my family every day is, honestly, I didn't realize how, how much I missed it. I didn't realize how much I missed seeing my family every day. And now that I'm back to seeing my family every day again, it just makes me feel so, so good. Just a much more wholesome place to live than, than cooped up in that, in that little house um, in the city where I was paying way too much money you know it's kind of annoying when you when you spend 40 hours a week at work you know doing a job that you're not really you know it's not the best job in the world it's retail for christ's sakes and you know you walk home with a bunch of money and then like almost all of it has to go straight on you know rent bills and shit you're like fuck and then food food man buying food sucks especially when you live in the city i swear it's just so expensive um but you know what we're home now we're home back into saving mode, I can finally start putting money that I earn into savings and start getting stuff like a car and like going for some nice holidays that I could probably take you guys along with me for half of it, you know? Go on some holidays with Maya and um, just enjoy life a bit more. So that's the main aim, is just to be enjoying life a little bit more now that I'm home. If I didn't already explain it, um, I am gonna be back as normal with videos and streams now. Um, streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Currently on Mondays, we have a Skyrim series going on. So that's always fun. I always try to do a mix up Monday type of, type of deal. Um, so yeah, currently it's Skyrim. Um, and then Wednesday and Saturday, usual Call of Duty streams um, and uploads on YouTube here on this channel every Wednesday and Saturday as well. And I go live as the videos go up. So we're back on schedule. We're back to where we should be. Oh. Another good piece of news that I totally forgot to mention, no more Frank. No more Frank. You guys know about Frank. If you've been to the streams or you've hung out in my videos at all in the last year, you must have heard about Frank. And he's gone now. He's gone. No more Frank. I don't have to be scared that someone's gonna call the police every time I hit a clip and react to it. Jesus Christ, that guy was a twat. So yeah, it's good. If this is the first video you're seeing from me since my little return after I've been away moving and getting my PC sorted and stuff, I did upload a video on Wednesday. Um, it's just a highlight video. It has one or two absolutely ridiculous clips in it though, which you guys need to go and check out. So if you hadn't seen Wednesday's live clips and fails, go and check it out. I hit a clip that I've been trying to hit and wanting to hit for the 13 years that I've been playing Call of Duty and I finally hit it, so you need to go and check it out. But the 2020 grind starts here, guys. Um, now that I'm back in a much more positive environment, I'm feeling much more positive and I'm really ready to just start cracking on with the year, finally. I know it's taken me the best part of a month to get there, but we're, we're finally there, ready to kill 2020. This is gonna be the year we hit 1K, ladies and gentlemen. It has to happen at some point. I know I've said it for the last three years that I wanna try and hit 1K this year, but this year will be the year that I hit 1K subscribers and I need you guys to help me out with it. Anyway, that pretty much does it for this video, folks. I'm live right now over on my Twitch channel, so feel free to come on over and hang out in the stream. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. If you're new to this channel by any means, feel free to subscribe, sign up for more videos. It's free, it's fun, and you get to see my face more often, which, you know, it might can't be a bad thing, right? Who the fuck knows? Anyway, take it easy, guys. Have a fantastic day. Ciao. Yeah. <laughs>